Hello again. This time I'm going to introduce you to the dark arts of MDL programming. Okay, seriously. <clears throat> Take a look at this program. It's quite simple. I'll uh, copy it into the description so you can copy and paste if you want. Put it into a text file and save this file in a dedicated MDL directory or better in a directory you're going to use for other MDL experiments. I'll explain later why this is important. So let's pretend you got this file, you saved it in the directory and let's switch to DAS. I created a sphere to have something to test the shader on and I'm going to use the small viewport up here to let iRay do its thing. Now go to window, paints and shader mixer and create, like last time, a new shader. <clears throat> we'll call it uh, Mirror 01. Click Accept and you got the kind of the skeleton of an Uber shader, so let's get rid of everything by clicking on Delete. Remember don't use backspace, it will delete your sphere. Now, here is my directory containing, containing the file. Take it, drag it and let go. Nothing happens. I told you to create a special directory you're going to use for MDL. I ray needs to know where MDL files are. It won't just trust any file, which makes sense in a way. Click on Base Paths, click on Add, choose the directory or select the directory you created before containing the file, accept and you're done. Now let's drag again and here we go. Here is the file. You remember there is a variable called refocal which is used to create the reflection color. Connect the result of this brick to the material input on the output brick, MDL surface, and click apply and nothing happens. Remember to select the surface of the sphere in the surfaces tab and now we click apply. That's it. You made a shader written in MDL work. There are no textures, there's nothing, everything is contained in the program. If you want to be able to change the reflection color. Go into your bricks to utility and drag the user parameters brick in your window and connect the raffle call to the user parameters brick. This brick allows you to create the base settings. Let's give it a shot. 
let's make it red apply works now let's put it to white and as you can see the parameter block is copied into your shader editor the only thing that bothers me at the moment is uh, raffle call made sense at the time i wrote the program but it might not make sense in a couple of months so let's get into parameter settings by clicking on the little cockwheel up here and give it a better label let's call it reflection color don't bother with the other settings in here in that case they are not needed now apply <clears throat> now you got reflection color copied from your parameter block and that's basically it you created a shader close the shader mixer set this back and take a look in your main window and you see that the sphere could need a couple of subdivisions so let's do this in geometry convert to sub d and now it looks like a sphere if you're satisfied go to file save as shader preset and save it where you store your shaders and you're done you're able to use it on every surface you create or get into DAS. If you want to create a nice icon, I'll link you to the video showing how to create icons for your shaders. I hope this helps. Happy rendering and see you next time. Bye.